begin in Lauderdale County, where a Lexington community is grieving the loss of a man killed in a freak accident. 43 year old Dustin Pettis died earlier this morning when a tree fell on him. WAFF 48's Romario Gardner spoke to his family tonight. Margot Dustin Pettis' daughter says her father meant everything to her, but she wasn't the only one. She says Dustin touched the hearts of everyone he encountered. He would do anything for anyone. Reese Pettis says those words sum up the good-natured man her father was. She's heartbroken after his death early Friday morning when a tree fell on his head as he was working. I didn't cry because it's something you don't believe. It's like it really just hits you once you like go to the scene or you realize that you're not going to see him. When first responders arrived to the scene, they found 43 year old Dustin Pettis already dead from his injuries. A witness on scene says the tree barely missed hitting another person. Reese says his death is hard to process because to her, he was larger than life. He had like certain aspects to him where you knew it was Dustin Pettis. You knew it was him. Two women who knew Dustin for nearly 15 years asked to remain anonymous, but wanted the world to know how much he cared for others. He was a great person, loved everybody. He loved his kids, his family. I loved that boy like he was my own, and I, I will miss him every day. Ree says he loved sports and supporting his children, and because of that, she'll always have him by her side. I'm really just glad to know that I still have like him with me, just like through me because I can talk to somebody and they'll tell me that um, I remind them of him. It's good to have that. Reese tells me despite the immense grief the family is going through right now, they will keep moving forward as best as they can in memory of Dustin. In Lexington, I'm Ramario Gardner, 48, on your side.